Finding our ground. Sext. The noon break. Fourth service of the day. A reflection from a side aisle or a chapel. This is the side aisle in Bolton Glass Church, which was dedicated to a family and has a family pew. Jesus' next temptation is to reject God, to worship the devil, to turn from the true ground of his being. God is ultimately the true ground of all. But what piece of that ground are we standing on? A text from No Man is an Island. Gratitude and confidence and freedom from ourselves. These are the signs that we have found our vocation and are living up to it, even though everything else may seem to have gone wrong. They give us peace in any suffering. They teach us to laugh at despair. And we may have to. Post-war America was committed to the pursuit of the American dream of individual material success. A religious expression of this was the power of positive thinking as expressed by Norman Vincent Peale. Merton, in No Man is an Island, challenges the worldly orientation of this self-improvement religiosity as aligned with the American dream of material success. Merton was a religious contrarian who opposed secular orientation of religious practice as associated with material success and the debasement of religious language for secular material advantage. Merton was a critic of religiosity precisely because he was journeying in his search of a true religion of the heart as the ground for authentic social and political transformation that today we may call social justice as based on inclusion. At the halfway point, we should see the way we are going, have a sense of it. We should have settled into a rhythm, a way of being that is once our means of motion and our motivation to be moving. I think that's what I think of when I think of vocation. There is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. To say that somebody is a sailor implies an attitude and an orientation as well as an action. And so it is with vocation. When attitude and action are together, they can withstand much. They form and are rooted in firm ground. Which means we can't be distracted from being in our place, knowing it, and be tempted to go away from that solid ground in which we're rooted. Another line of prayer taken from the prayer of St. Brendan. Christ of the mysteries, I trust you to be stronger than each storm within me.